back to the bargaining table on day two of the Denver Public School teacher strike. After a slight delay, both sides sat down for talks at the Denver Public Library this morning. Students still faced picket lines on their way into class this morning. I'm Britt Marino. Thank you for joining us. We'll update you on everything. Here's the scene at East High School as of this morning. The district says more than half of its teachers did not report for work yesterday. Our Michaelia White is covering Colorado first, and she has spent her mornings at those talks. Michaelia, everybody's wondering, any signs of progress? Well, you know what, Britt? Good afternoon. The meeting started off rowdy. Teachers were chanting everything from DCTA to shut it down. They were a very, very passionate group inside those doors just there. Now, a large part of the meeting discussed professional development or uh, PDUs uh, in terms of professional development units. Now, DPS Super Susana Cordova bringing forth a new proposal, now saying the hours that teachers would have to work for a PDU would be 45 instead of 60. Now, this would all play into salary adjustments. That's what was discussed most of the time in the meeting here. Now, DCTA saying afterwards they would have a lot to think about and that they would reconvene. I talked with a teacher who's been with the district for four years and says if they don't raise the pay, she will have to leave. So at this point in my life, if the district doesn't accept the union offer, I have to leave. I, I don't know if that means another district or another job, but I cannot stay in DPS. I just can't survive on what they're offering. And another key point was longevity, something they may discuss further. That would also give incentives for teachers who've been with the district for a longer amount of time. For now, we are live in Denver. Michaelia White covering Colorado first. Thank you, Michaelia. High school students continue to show their support for the teachers. North High students organized a sit-in and a brief walkout this morning. Video shows that the district again invited a pool camera into a school this morning. This time our Eddie Castro was shown around the 5th and 8th grade classes at Dora Moore. Things are pretty quiet in the school, but dozens of protesters were just outside. And while we saw students in class, we know other families kept their kids at home. Our